The headline numbers, uh, the Waterloo property now hosts 110 million ounces of silver uh, in, in measured and indicated uh, categories. Importantly, about 90 million ounces uh, of that silver is in the measured uh, category, which is the ad most advanced resource category. So you are very confident that that uh, silver is there. Hello and welcome to Assay TV. We are introducing Apollo Silver Corp today, and I'm delighted to be speaking with Tom Perigodov, President, CEO and Director of the company. Welcome, Tom. Thanks, Adam. Thanks for having me. It's good to be here. Of course, you're focusing in on the Calico project. You've got some excellent news flow to tell us about the mineral resource estimate. Uh, that's in Bernardino County in California. Could you take us through the site and the situation of the project, and then perhaps we can get into some of the detail of this resource update. Absolutely. We'll look at, um, you know, just as a, a, by way of a bit of background, uh, Adam, we acquired the, uh, the, the, the Waterloo property, which forms the cornerstone of the Calico project uh, from Pan American uh, going on two years ago now. Uh, and since then, we've been able to uh, advance that project uh, through about 10,000 meters of drilling and then uh, culminating in that uh, uh, fantastic resource estimate that uh, that we put out to the uh, to the market yesterday uh, yesterday. Mm, fantastic. OK, well, take us through some of those um, up, the updates and the figures that you've discovered sure. in that resource. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, well, look, at I think, um, you know, the headline numbers, uh, the Waterloo property now hosts 110 million ounces of silver. Uh, in in measured and indicated uh, categories. Importantly, about 90 million ounces uh, of that silver is in the measured uh, category, which is the ad most advanced resource category. So you know, very confident that that uh, silver is there. A lot of that technical risk has been removed. Uh, the grades uh, are, are, are good uh, for a for a bulk mineable silver project. Uh, you know, the announced grade was uh, for for uh, was on average about 100 grams uh, per ton for the uh, for the M and I, slightly higher for, for the measured. Uh, I think the other key component that uh, investors should uh, uh, think about is the amount of of material we converted from inferred uh, to uh, uh, measured and indicated. Mm -hmm. Our conversion rate was roughly 95 percent, which really speaks to the continuity of that silver mineralization and our confidence in our geological model and our block model and uh, and that resource. Yep, absolutely. Well, it should do a lot to uh, boost investor confidence around the project as well. Um, there was some previous drilling and work done before, as you mentioned, from acquiring. How much of a leg up has that given you in terms of, was the data good? Um, yeah. The continuity is there, as you say. Yeah. No, look at that. That was huge. And that, um, you know, that really allowed us to get to where we are in a, in a, in, in a relatively short period of time. We inherited for, for that Calico project roughly 42,000 meters of drilling uh, from the previous operators, Pan American Silver and Asarco. Uh, but we went through a very, very detailed independent due diligence process, which confirmed uh, that our all of that data uh, was, was in very good shape. The data about data set and that database was very robust and that gave Stantec, our independent QPs, the confidence to use almost 100% of that historic data in addition to the 10,000 meters of drilling that we completed this year and to, 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 to work on that and, and declare that uh, resource estimate yet, uh, that we put out yesterday. Yep, absolutely. Excellent. Um, so for people that might be new to this, project who are getting an idea uh, of the resource, just zooming out, what's the access yeah. and the situation um, of the site as well? What are sure. some of the attributes that you've got for this great uh, project? Sure, sure. Well, like as you said, uh, we're located in San Bernardino County, California, which is important. Uh, San Bernardino is the county that supplies the vast majority of the construction materials for the Southern California construction business. What that really means is that it is a county that's quite comfortable with uh, resource development and the benefits that resource developments can bring uh, to, to an economy and to a community. We're located about 15 or so kilometers outside of Barstow, California. Uh, we've got great infrastructure. We've got paved road access right to the site. Uh, we're within about five kilometers of, uh, uh, of, of commercial electrical power. Um, 
We've got no uh, uh, major parks, national monuments or anything of that sort impinging on the property. So access from that perspective is very good. And I think the other key differentiator for us is the fact that that Waterloo resource is, is, is located on fee simple lands, private lands. I'm the landowner. And that package of, of private lands comes with vested mining rights. Yep. And really what that means is that the, the process for, for permitting is, is simplified because of those two key attributes. For example, um, you know, we got our permits to drill that 10,000 meter program in about six weeks. Wow. Uh, there are very, very few jurisdictions that I'm aware of uh, these days where you can get uh, go from uh, uh, basically from starting up of a project and six weeks later uh, have your drill permits. Yeah, indeed, that's rapid and that's excellent. And perhaps dispels some of the myths around, you know, can how, how mining friendly is California as a jurisdiction. But ostensibly, this is a great time to be looking at mineral resource projects within the US and North America, given Inflation Reduction Act and some of the strategic thinking that's going on right now. No, look, and I think that's exactly right. You know, we fit very well in, uh, you know, with those plans. Uh, you've seen the Biden administration speak quite strongly to the importance of uh, securing more of their inputs uh, and in, in, into those uh, 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 future technologies that are going to sort of reduce their carbon footprint. And, mm -hmm. and obviously, in, in the California context, uh, solar is, is, is hugely important. Uh, and I think that uh, having a secure supply of, of, uh, of silver located so close to the end user is going to be a real benefit for us moving forward. Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. Okay, well, look, let's let's look more expansively then at the program that you've got coming up to sure. continue to define the resource. Are you going to focus in and what are the growth opportunities that remain here? Sure. Look at, well, you know, we've got three three areas where we, we see continued growth of the Calico project. You know, the first is obviously within that Waterloo Silver Resource itself. Uh, we, we know that there is silver mineralization sitting below our current base of mineral resource. And we see uh, and we confirm that this year with some of the work that we've done. And those areas where we have expanded that uh, that, that silver resource, we've included that in this uh, in this latest uh, uh, mineral resource update. But we know that the basically the northern half to northern third of the project area, we still haven't done a lot of that uh, uh, slightly deeper drilling. So there's rooms to grow that that there's room to grow that silver resource. We haven't touched Langtree, uh, which is the neighboring property that forms part of the Calico project. And we've got 50, 50 million ounces of silver sitting in the inferred category uh, uh, on that property. And, mm -hmm. and we know that, um, you know, we can m convert some of that material as well into M&I as, as, as required. Uh, the other couple of key areas, gold, we announced gold for the first time in that pro in the Waterloo property history. We've incorporated gold into the resource. Now, it wasn't a big uh, 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 resource. It's, it hasn't made a big impact on that on that silver resource. But the fact does remain that there is gold in the system. And so we see gold as another opportunity to sort of expand that mineral inventory. And we'll be putting some effort into that in the, in the uh, upcoming program. Uh, and, and then I find I think finally, barite. Now, barite is a commodity uh, that a lot of uh, viewers are, are really not going to be aware of, but it is a, a critical component to the uh, uh, drilling fluids, which in the petroleum industry, and it, it, it allows for them to control the pressures in their wells. Uh, it is on the critical mineral list in the U.S. The U.S. currently imports the majority of its barite consumption. And so having a barite resource located, you know, within um, uh, w w within the country and within about um, probably five kilometers of a very major railhead, uh, we see real potential for that barite to make us a, a, a good contribution to that mineral inventory moving forward. Uh, we've now confirmed that we can produce a barite concentrate, and we're now just running through the process of determining the quality characteristics of that barite to ensure that it meets the petroleum industry's requirements. So those are some of the growth options that we see in the in that resource. You know, moving forward, as I said, we'll continue to look at the, each of those growth options. And importantly, um, as far as advancing Waterloo, uh, you know, right now in the in the plans for 2023. Uh, we'll start to look at some uh, more detailed geotechnical type work and, and advanced metallurgical work 
Uh, I think uh, we've got some opportunities to up some of our silver recoveries, which will have mm -hmm. a big impact. And we'll then, you know, really start to look at advancing into uh, those engineering studies uh, and uh, and the permitting processes in uh, in in San Bernardino County. Yeah, fantastic. Some great optionality there throughout the project as well with the other uh, commodities. Um, are Absolutely. you well financed for this year's campaign and the next phase of drilling and that geotechnical stuff? Yeah, look at where. So right now, um, uh, our treasury is sitting at uh, roughly seven million dollars. Uh, and, you know, so look, we'll, we'll, um, we will finalize those plans and we'll see where we sit. Um, but I, I'm comfortable with um, what I've currently got committed uh, to that we've got budgets to uh, carry us through the current commitments. Uh, it'll depend on how much my VP of exploration and resource development wants to drill and that kind of thing where we end up. Yep, absolutely. Okay, excellent. Well, um, Tom, thanks very much. And um, I guess there are some big catalysts to watch for investors to watch for for this year, I guess it would be um, the development um, of the geotechnical work and anything else you wanted to add? You know, look at, I think, um, as we all know right now, the, the market for precious metals is fairly soft. Uh, and what that means uh, for, 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 for me is that there's opportunities. Uh, there are a lot of uh, good projects out there that um, haven't had the uh, ability to attract a, a lot of capital. And mm -hmm. so I think investors should look for us to, look to expand our portfolio uh, in the uh, in the coming weeks and months. Yep, absolutely. Excellent, Tom. Well, thanks very much for sharing an update there. Really exciting news around the mineral resource update. And we look forward to hearing more about the Kelico project developments later in the year. Excellent. Okay, good speaking with you, Adam. Thank you.